Here we see an example of a spacesuit that's a little different in that it has uh, many extra arms and space inside to bring your arms inside the suit, which is the only way I want to live because I don't want to choke on my own vomit and I would like to go to the bathroom and wipe my nose and eat and all those things in the suit. The idea of the intense claustrophobia of being unable to manipulate anything inside the suit is disgusting to me and seems horribly stupid. This uh, tries to accommodate the fact that shoulder joints are so difficult and poor for the shoulder to operate by simply not having shoulder joints and mostly operating with the elbow joint, which is okay because you've got lots of extra arms. On Earth, this, such a suit could be used on Mount Everest and other high-altitude locations where it should be used because it's stupid to go up to those altitudes without a pressure suit. There are issues about maneuverability in the climbing environment, which are certainly more challenging than maybe this suit presents, so some accommodation would have to be made. Fortunately, <clears throat> the pressure can be reduced while you're working during the day, and then the pressure can be increased at night where you're more sensitive to it, especially while you're sleeping. And if you can be maintained in an upright position rather than lying down, this can help reduce uh, edema of the brain or the lungs. So there is some potential to have a pressure suit for Mount Everest based on this kind of concept. There's also a potential for the benefit of saving the humidity and having a better environment in the suit because it's so damn cold and dry up there that your respira respiration is ruined just by breathing up there. Similarly, there's an issue of where if you exert yourself greatly, your steam and sweat goes into your clothing and then freezes halfway through, ruining your insulation value of your, of your clothing. So it can be quite challenging to do intense physical work in cold environments. A potential suit that could be a derivative of this suit is basically putting yourself in a plastic bag that's close to your skin and then putting your insulation on the outside. Of course, it would be clammy in there, but that would be part of the management of the suit would be to take the water away. But the, the, your insulation would be protected from your own sweat. So it means that you could potentially have a much higher output, provided you would not get too hot. But of course, it's very cold out there. So the idea is you're glad that you can get hot because you're exercising so much so that you'll be so warm that you won't have hypothermia, hopefully, of your extremities. So some accommodation of the feet and hands in the circulation of the water and the Heating would hopefully result in a suit where you can do heavy exertion in cold weather for long periods of time without any risk of uh, freezing to death. It would be kind of a sweatsuit. So there's not an urgent market for these things, but uh, certainly another exciting area for space technology here on Earth, where it belongs, where we really need it.